hello taurus welcome back to my channel my name is ashley i'm going to do a quick love reading for you all this is for taurus sun moon rising and venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have taurus this is a general reading so it's very important to remember not to force the story if it's not your story um leave what take what resonates and leave what doesn't for who it was meant to reach this will not resonate with all taurus out there let's see as this is just a general reading, okay? So let's see what's going on. We're gonna look at how your person's feeling towards you, how you're feeling towards your person and the mutual energy between you both. I hope everyone is staying safe and well and healthy. Let's see, mutual, mutual, please. Oh, there we go. Okay, Taurus, let's see what's going on. You have Could be done with an Aquarius. You have a lot of wands. Could be done with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Underneath the deck, you have strength in reverse. Okay, could be done with a Leo. Someone could be holding back. Or someone's trying to gain the strength. Let's see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to read this as your person, Taurus. I'm going to read this as you. Roles can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. Let's get started. Your person has the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups, followed by the Seven of Wands. Okay. Your person, Taurus, I feel... I feel like your person is closing themselves off right now. They're very defensive, okay? They're very defensive. They're, they're closing themselves off. I feel like they're going inside themselves trying to find some answers here, okay? They're trying to get clarity. They're like going within themselves to find clarity here because they have the Ace of Swords here. I'm getting like, ooh, I'm getting that they're thinking about you a lot. Like they're thinking about you a whole lot. And they want clarity on the situation and they're going within and they're taking a break or they're distancing themselves to try and find it. Because I see that they they love you a lot. If they don't love you a lot, they care for you a lot. They do care for you a lot. I feel like they miss you. I feel like they know. I feel like they know that you know how much they love and miss you or something like that. Kind of like they know that you know. There's some, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting that, okay? Followed by the two of wands in reverse. They were recently, they could have been at a crossroads between you and this connection. There was a crossroads here, okay? They had to make a decision or they had to pick a path. And I feel like they they're either hesitating on doing so or they're about to make their decision, okay? And that's why they're going within with this clarity here because they're trying to make sure that they make the right decision. They know they care and love, they love you. This is why they're holding back. The strength is all about holding, strength in reverse, holding back. They're holding themselves back because they wanna make sure they make the right decision. In your energy, Taurus, you have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Star in Reverse, and the Eight of Wands in Reverse. I feel like you love this person too. I feel like you love and care for this person too with the Ten of Cups. You could have a family with them. You could have a family with them. You could have children with them. But I feel like they make you very happy. Or at least they did at one point. Like they were your wish fulfillment at, at one point at least. This is like the happy, the white picket fence, you know, the house, the kids, the love, everything. This is like this is like ultimate happiness within the home. I don't know why I'm getting some of you all may be like same-sex relationship that's not for everybody um but i feel like this person made you happy at one point taurus okay and i think that you've kind of 
been going back and forth in your head as well about this situation and you finally made up your mind. You finally made up your mind because you were kind of weighing pros and cons here, going back and forth. And I feel like you've maybe made up your mind here. And I think maybe you're... I think you've made up your mind that there's no hope in this connection, okay? The star in reverse, okay? This is all about wish fulfillment, healing, hope. When it's in reverse, this is losing hope, not being happy, things that need to be healed. Eight of Wands in reverse talks about no communication. I think that this person made you happy once upon a time. However, maybe things just got a little rocky and you've made up your mind, Taurus, that there's no hope in this connection and you no longer want to speak or see or move forward with this person. It's kind of like, I don't know why I'm getting you're releasing them. I don't know why I'm getting like you're releasing them. In the mutual energy, you have the three of wands in reverse and the four of wands. Some of you all are married to this person or were married, okay? Four of wands talks about marriage. Three of wands. It's like you're tired. Of, it, it, this is the mutual energy, okay? I feel like... Both of you were, are both waiting for each other to put in the work. Like you're both waiting for each other to put in the work in this either marriage or connection here, okay? I think both of you want to just make the move and either make it work or I, I, not make it work. One of you wants to make it work and I think the other one does, like does, just wants to release it, okay? Um... Either way, though, I think you both are going to want to re... I think you both want to reunite right now. Like, you're tired of waiting in limbo, and you both want to reunite to figure out what's going on. What's the next step? Or at least to communicate what you got, what each other wants. Your person doesn't want this to end. Taurus, this person does not want this to end. They don't want to see a future without you in it. The queen, yeah, look, the queen of wands. They're worried that you're going to be with someone else too, okay? They're really worried that you're going to go be with someone else. Yep, the wheel. They want to move forward. They want forward movement with you. They want to move forward and they want, they're hoping that luck is on their side because they don't want you with anyone else and they don't want this, whatever you all have together, they don't want that to end, okay? I think you've made up your mind though, Taurus, the high priestess. I think you've made up your mind. You're not settling for less than what you deserve. You know your worth. Um, you're also possibly not speaking to this person or you're not speaking a whole lot to this person, okay? You're trusting your intuition Oh, look, and this literally fell over this. You're trusting your intuition about moving into calmer waters. Look, she has her suitcase packed. She's ready to go, and she's ready for the universe to lead the way. Moving into calmer waters, and you're trusting your intuition. Yoke. Look at two of cups in reverse. You're trusting your intuition about this ending okay i don't think that you want this anymore the two of cups in reverse talks about separation disharmony div divorce disconnect or a breakup okay clarify the mutual i think someone really wants this person really wants to work on this and this person you taurus if this is you have kind of accepted that it's gone you know clarifying the mutual we have the emperor okay someone may be throwing a temper tantrum or a fit or someone is just extremely angry here 
um, about this ending. Look, Ten of Swords. Because someone is ready to move on. Someone is ready to end this and just move on. Underneath the deck, look, Hierophant. Okay, this could have been a marriage. Mm, Page of Wands. Yeah, it could have been a marriage. It could have been... Not all of you were married to this person. But some of you all, I feel, have had... Some of y'all are married, but some of you all I'm getting are ascending into a higher level of commitment to yourself. Like this this is the marriage card. However, look at the steps, okay? And this person is by themselves and they're happy. This is all about moving into a higher level of commitment. I feel like some of you all were married to this person. However, I feel like this is more so you truly committing to yourself, Taurus, and doing what makes you happy and taking the steps you need to fulfill your soul's purpose, okay? Let's get some love messages. If this reading is resonating, uh, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. I love you all so much. To book a personal reading with me, um... Everything is below to purchase these cards. It's in the description below. If you want to follow me on a personal level, my Instagram is also below, okay? My merch, everything. Everything's in the description. Okay, underneath the deck, we have gossip, okay? Could be a lot of, and head games. I just did Aries. You could be dealing with Aries because this too came out for Aries. Um, so it could be that someone here is gossiping and, and playing a lot of head games, maybe turning things around on you, Taurus, or vice versa, okay, or they're blaming you or something like that. Clarifying your energy. I will never settle down. I feel like that's more you, Taurus, saying you're not going to settle for less than what you deserve. I will never settle down for something that does not deserve me, for something that does not value me, or someone that does not value me. I will never settle for less than what I deserve. I shouldn't settle for less than what I deserve. That's what you're thinking, Taurus, is what I'm getting. Clarifying the mutual toxic. Definitely some toxicity here in this connection. Which is why it's driving this person so mad. Okay, this person's throwing a temper tantrum with this emperor in reverse. I'm getting like they thought that they had it made. Oh, look, he's holding, he's holding a queen. Like the chess piece. It's like he had, some of you all were married, and it's like this person thought he had, he or she had you in the bag. They had you in the palm of their hand. And now they've lost at chess. They lost the game of chess. You know what I mean? And now they're throwing a temper tantrum and they're mad and they're upset because you. You're your own queen. You're your own king, okay? No one holds you in the palm of your hand, in their hand. And you, you're you leaving. And that's what makes this this toxic situation, okay? This person could have been very uh, arrogant is what I'm getting. Very arrogant. Clarifying them, we have my life is better with you, okay? So they're definitely trying to keep this connection alive, to keep it above water because... They feel like their life is better when you're in it. Let me get one soul confession for you, okay? This is also in my deck. Uh, also in my deck. Oh, this deck is also mine. You can find it in the description below where you can purchase it if you feel like it, okay? Ooh, okay. Ooh. We have, I'm sorry that I lied. So I don't know. That's confirmation for someone. You're seriously the best that I've ever had and I know it. I'm not happy. I'm just comfortable. Take that as it resonates, Taurus, okay? I feel like someone here is very codependent and I feel like it's this person. I'm not happy. I'm just comfortable. I feel like this person is codependent. That's why they're, they're trying so very hard to keep this alive. You're seriously the best that I've ever had and I know it. That's how they feel towards you, Taurus. That's how they feel towards you. 
But that's what I have for you, okay? I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you, and I will talk to you very soon.